Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-81 from R.C. Hibaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, the pole is subjected to the force which has components acting along the x, y and z axes. If the magnitude of F is 3 kN, the 2 out of 3 coordinate direction angles are given to us. Those are beta and gamma. We have to determine the magnitude of its three components. So first of all, we have to find the third coordinate direction angle, that is alpha. So for alpha, we can use this relation of cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to one. So cos square alpha is equals to 1 minus cos square beta and beta is 30 degrees minus cos square gamma and gamma is 75 degrees and to find the cos theta cos alpha I am going to take a square root on both sides so it would become plus minus 0 0.428 so now this will give us two answers for alpha. For example, cos alpha when it is equal to the positive 0 0.428 and when cos alpha is equal to negative 0 0.428. So when you take a cos inverse, so here alpha would be 64.6 and 6 degrees. And when you take the cos inverse here, here the alpha would be 115.34 degrees. So now we have two values for alpha. So which one is to select? For that we have to move towards the figure. If I draw the projection of this f on xy plane, the projection would look something like that. Now you can observe that the x component of the fourth f is acting in the positive x direction means the fx is positive so we have to select that value of alpha that will give us the positive x component of force so let me write it here fx has to be positive so alpha has to be chosen in such a way that cos alpha is positive And cos alpha is positive in that case means alpha is going to be 64.66 degrees. So now we have found the alpha. Now we can express them into its component. Now we can express the force f into its component. So for fx, it is equal to the f cos alpha fy is equals to f cos beta and fz is equals to f cos gamma now we know the values we know the value of f the value of f is 3 kN so when you substitute the values it becomes 3 cos 64.66 degrees which in turns is equals to 1.28 kN and here we have 3 and the beta is 30 degrees as it is given so from here it becomes 2.60 kN and here we have 3 cos 75 degrees and it becomes 
zero point seven eight kilonewtons. So these are our answers. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. Thank you.